Welcome to Top Best Picks. Looking for the perfect single board computer for your next project? Look no further. In this video, we'll walk you through the key factors to consider when choosing the right SBC for your needs. Size. The size of the SBC will determine how much space it takes up. Smaller boards are ideal for tight spaces like robots, while larger boards offer more power. Cost. Finding a board that fits your budget and provides the performance you need is crucial. Keep in mind that the more powerful the board, the higher the cost. Processor speed. The processor speed is key for processing data quickly. Make sure the board can handle the tasks you require. RAM. More RAM means more data storage and faster information processing. Consider the amount of RAM you need for your project. Storage. Ensure the board has enough storage to meet your needs. Some boards have built-in storage, while others require an external drive. Connectivity. Check the ports and connections the board offers. USB, Ethernet, and Wi-Fi connections are common and important for various projects. Now let's take a look at the best single board computers we choose for you. Number 5. Experience a powerful 8-core 64-bit processor with up to 2.4 GHz frequency, 8K video codec support, and a wide range of interfaces for seamless connectivity. From tablets to cloud computing, the Orange Pi 5 SBC is cost-effective and supports multiple operating systems, making it ideal for various industries. With a built-in AI accelerator NPU and 8K display processing capability, enjoy clearer images and detailed picture quality for an improved user experience. Supporting Orange Pi OS, Droid, Ubuntu Debian Armbian Linux Android 12 OS, the Orange Pi 5 SBC provides a versatile and open-source platform for building computers, wireless servers, games, music sounds, videos, and speakers. What we like The Orange Pi 5 SBC features a powerful 8-core 64-bit processor and 8K display processing capability, making it ideal for applications in tablets, edge computing, a cloud computing, and smart home. With its abundant interfaces, it offers versatility and open-source platform for building computers, wireless servers, games, and more. What people say. Inexpensive, 8 cores, 2 performance, 6 efficient, 8 gigabytes of unified memory, a PCIe M.2 slot for storage or Orange Pi's Wi-Fi BT card. I use this for hosting a Pi Hole server. Great SBC, quick and fun to work with. My legit only complaint is how long it takes the standard Linux libraries to update on these things because their servers are located outside of my country, in China. Otherwise these are an absolutely stellar replacement for thin clients, media centers, emulator box, IoT, whatever you want. The world is your oyster and this is the pearl. Great hardware, very powerful. Using it as a low power server has been great. Had to go with Armabian because official so downloads are broken. Number 4, experience powerful performance with an 8-core 64-bit single-board computer, featuring a Rockchip RK3588S processor. Enjoy effortless multitasking with 8GB of RAM, ensuring seamless performance for all your applications. Experience flexibility with support for multiple operating systems, including Orange Pi OS, Android 12, and Debian 11. What we like the Orange Pi 5 8GB Rockchip RK3588S 8-core 64-bit single-board computer is equipped with 8GB of RAM and an NPU with 6 tops computing power, making it suitable for tablets, edge computing, a cloud computing, and smart home applications. With its abundant interfaces, it offers seamless connectivity in open-source platform for various projects. What people say. Mi ha gusta do, mi sorprende el tamino, El Disempino y la variedad de sistemas operativos que acepta. I bought the one without wireless. It's a great little board, I've run several different Linux distros on it and they run perfect. Running Ubuntu on it now as a BTC node and test web server. Liked it so much I bought a second one, 16 GB, dot. It took 10 months, and the amazing support from the community makes this the go to alternate for the Raspberry Pi market. With a little bit of search, you can find everything available for Raspberry Pi ported over for the Orange Pi 5. Number 3, experience exceptional performance with a powerful 8-core 64-bit processor and 256GB EMMC module. 
With its ARM Mali G610 3D GPU, it offers compatibility with various graphics applications. From embedded system development to machine vision systems, this board offers a wide range of applications. With rich interfaces and support from multiple operating systems, it's suitable for hobbyists and enterprises alike. Whether it's Orange Pi OS, Android 12, Debian 11, or Ubuntu 22.04, this board supports multiple operating systems. It also comes with an embedded NPU for edge computing tasks. What we like. The Orange Pi 5 Plus comes with a 256GB eMMC module and an embedded NPU for edge computing tasks. With its rich interfaces and support for multiple operating systems, it offers a wide range of applications, from embedded system development to machine vision systems. Whether you're a hobbyist or an enterprise, this board provides a powerful and customizable solution. What people say. The Orange Pi Plus single computer board stands out as a more powerful alternative to the Raspberry Pi. The NVMe option is really nice because booting is about 15 times faster than the micro SD or you can boot a bit slower from an eMMC. Plenty of power to run just about any OS you'd care to run. The OEM user manual, 500 plus pages of detailed instructions on how to set it up. It's also not a Chinglish translation, very well done by folks who really can speak English well. Number 2, it offers a powerful quad-core processor for smooth performance, along with 2GB of RAM and a decent onboard GPU for video-intensive projects. With support for various video formats and micro-HDMI output, it can be used in TV boxes, smart projection equipment, and more. The 13-pin and 26-pin expansion ports and adapter board allow for additional functions such as headphones, TV out, USB 2.0, and infrared reception, enhancing the motherboard's functionality and development potential. With its open-source nature, the Orange Pi Zero 3 can be used to build a computer, wireless server, game console, media center, and much more. What we like the Orange Pi Zero 3 features a full-memory H618 processor and ARM Mali G31 GPU, making it suitable for TV boxes, smart projection equipment, and more. With its expansion function port, it offers enhanced functionality and development potential for various projects. What people say. I needed a SBC to process footage from a thermal camera and other sensor data and display it on a HUD. The Raspberry Pi Zero W didn't have enough RAM, and more powerful RPI models were too big to mount inside my helmet. This worked like a charm, and with the Ethernet port removed is the size of a poker chip. Minus one star for the lack of software support. I needed a board for hosting services on my network since my main server is at capacity. This currently runs a repository for storing and viewing 3D models and it works perfect. I've also tested Octoprint which worked as expected. There's still some headroom to run a lot more on this thing since I chose the 4GB model. All things considered this is a great alternative to the Raspberry Pi Zero 2W and setup was as expected for an Orange Pi device. Using this with Ubuntu 22.04 and Octoprint 1.9.2 Number 1, experience impressive performance with up to 2.4GHz main frequency in 8-core 64-bit processor, providing up to 6 tops of computing power. Equipped with 16GB 32GB LPDDR4 RAM and 256GB eMMC storage, offering ample space for all your computing needs. Featuring a built-in AI accelerator NPU, the Orange Pi 5B supports image processing and offers endless possibilities for DIY projects. What we like. The Orange Pi 5B is powered by the new generation 8-core 64-bit processor RK3588S and features 16GB 32GB LPDDR4 RAM, making it suitable for high-end tablets, A, cloud computing, and smart home applications. With its dual-band Y, Fi 6 and BT 5.0, it offers seamless connectivity and endless possibilities for DIY projects and customization. What people say. Use it for my senior design project and this thing ran image processing no issue. Now using it as a media center. For Wi-Fi if you buy additional antennas make sure they have or get IPEX MHF4 to SAM connectors. The Wi-Fi connectors on the board are the smaller ones. I even asked on Reddit and different forums, but nobody knows how to make it work. I'm very disappointed, because it ran amazing, and the games that worked, even some 3D games, ran super smoothly, often reaching even 60 frames per second. 
You can find the Amazon purchase link in the description below. Hope this video can be helpful to you. Thanks for watching.